Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanna to keep talking about emergency food preparedness and I wanna compare buying something commercially like this two week supply from My Patriot Supply versus maybe something like Mountain House Meals versus doing it yourself and the difference in cost and value. Stay tuned. So I was contacted by My Patriot Supply to see if I wanted to check out one of their buckets. And it's this one. This is the two week food supply for one person, 92 total servings, and up to a 25 year shelf life. They wanted me to check this out to maybe become an affiliate marketer for them. That means I would promote the product in my YouTube channel, give you guys a discount code, and I would get a small commission off each sale. If I accepted, I would be offering this bucket to you guys through their company for $89. I think it had free shipping too. So what's in the box? That's what I wanted to check out. I wanted to see if the product was good. I don't want to recommend something bad to you guys. All right, first thing in the box, uh, homestyle potato soup. There was actually three of them. I tried one and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Traveler's stew, creamy chicken flavored rice, one mac and cheese, one Southwest rice, two long grain white rice packets, two Maple Grove oatmeal, and two buttermilk pancake mixes. So needless to say, I wasn't super impressed with what was in the box for the value. This box to me felt very carbohydrate heavy, and not only that, but the cheap carbohydrates like rice and oatmeal and pancake mix things that are very, very cheap to buy yourself on the grocery store shelf. That seems to be the bulk of the ingredients in this bucket. Rice, oats, and pancake mix. Now I did try the homestyle potato soup. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. You dump this into water. The package said to simmer it for about 20 minutes. I found that it took more like 30 to kind of get the right consistency to get everything to get soft. Now it was very tasty, made quite a big pot of soup, but again, I just feel like in this bucket, it was just really high on carbohydrates for the value that you're paying. I have nothing against my Patriot Supply. They do have other buckets, they do have other products, they have some proteins, they've got some vegetables and fruits, but I thought, can I do this better on my own? But first I wanna talk about one more thing, and that is Mountain House. Now if you're a backpacker or a camper, you might be familiar with this product. Mountain House has been around for a long, long time. They make really good, really delicious, dehydrated meals that don't really weigh anything, so they're great for backpacking and stuff. Now I've tried a lot of these, and I do really like the Mountain House stuff. The only problem is, it's very expensive. Each of these containers, are about eight dollars on average and so that's not something you can really stock up on very economically now if you go to the mountain house website or if you go someplace like costco you can find they have a similar size bucket full of their meals for under one hundred dollars and that way you could purchase quite a few of these meals for a little bit of a reduced price giving you some, some savings and some value there. Now the good thing about these is they all you have to do is add water. Just add hot water, seal it back up, and it just kind of cooks itself in the pack. You don't have to put it on the stove, which is really nice. And they taste great. There's some proteins in there. There's some great flavors in there. It's not bland. It's really delicious, but it's gonna cost you. So if you can get a bucket at like a Costco or a Sam's Club, more product for a better value, then I would recommend it as a supplement to your emergency food supply because they are really good. But in my case, I wanna do it myself because I'm gonna save quite a bit of money doing it myself. Now, if you look at all the food here, I don't have the weight on this and I could get the weight. This is probably, probably three, four hundred pounds of food sitting here on my table. And I paid a little over $300 for everything you see here on the table. Let's take a quick look at what I got. Rice, spices, honey, beans, grains, pastas, sugar, corned beef, instant potatoes, more pasta, more beans, dry milk, minced garlic, cocoa, vegetable and beef bases, dehydrated vegetable flakes, 
and I have much more already packaged in these Mylar bags. Now in order to package all this up, I also had to invest in some Mylar bags. I've got three different sizes. I've got 50 of the five gallon bags. I've got 50 of the two gallon bags, and I've got 100 of these little more like spice size bags. I also got 200 oxygen absorber packs, which you're gonna need to put in your Mylar bags to keep all this stuff moisture free, which is one of the biggest problems with storing food. Heat, moisture, and light will spoil a lot of your stored foods, so that's something you gotta take care of. That being said, all the stuff here on the table, not including the buckets, which I already had for maple syruping, we're looking at about $450 worth of product. So I would compare that to this nearly $100 bucket of food that is mainly rice, oatmeal and pancake mix. And I feel like I can get a much better value with better quality products and personally being able to pick them out if I do it myself. Now maybe you don't have the time or the resources to put all this together and do all that. So maybe going with a bucket is for you. There are lots of companies that provide emergency food supply buckets and kits and you can go online and research all of that. You can go research how to use the Mylar bags and how to do it yourself. Some of the most common foods to start with. But I think the key is to actually start. Actually think about it, actually make an effort, and decide whether this is something you wanna do on your own, or if this is something you're gonna to wanna to source out to a company who handles this and can just ship it to you all in one go. But I just want you to start. I want you to start thinking about what would happen if the food supply chain broke down. What would I do? Where would I get my food? How would I take care of my family? I think these are valid things to think about and I think the time is now to start preparing for the unexpected. something different on my channel. Thanks for joining me guys. I hope this gave you some insight, some ideas, and I hope to see you in the next video. Scroll in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.